Hi everyone, I'm your average human and today we're going to talk about probably my favorite band which, you know, it's hard to pick a favorite <laughs> but Black Keys is probably top three like top three for sure but yeah, full disclosure, I already listened to this song um, and I think it's fucking terrific and we'll get into it in a minute but I haven't seen the video and I'm very excited it's been so long since I've seen uh, a video from the Black Keys and also it's so exciting that the band is back together again so much has happened you know in between records but hey anyway let's get right into it before I start rambling okay Oh, and the song is called, I'm sorry, I'm just too excited, Crawling Kingsnake by the Black Keys. Okay, let's just hit it. Oh my gosh. This fucking makes me so excited. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. I swear, the first time I heard the song, I I burst out with happiness. First because, like I said, they're my favorite band, but oh my god. I can't with Dan Auerbeck. Sir, you need to calm down. You need to calm with all your fucking talent. I love him so much. I mean, the, what a fucking iconic duo, seriously. Pat and Dan, they just go together. It's like gin and tonic, you know, just fucking perfect. I love them both so much. Also, when I first heard the song, it was, it was such... The sound was so, you know, the Black Keys, 2006, like... Oh my god, I seriously hope that they never stop making music. And also, I hope I can see them live again, because I need to see this shit live. I've seen them live before. But get it. Oh my god. I I'm so excited for the new album. Like so excited. I'm counting the day. I seriously because I'm in the mailing list because I bought like t-shirts and stuff over the years. Um I had gotten an email that said that the song was coming out and I was like I was not expecting it I don't know I thought it was gonna be like we were gonna have to wait more time again and you know what I love about this song and I think it's sort of indicative of how the album is gonna be I feel like they're back to absolutely doing whatever the fuck they want. I mean, I'm not saying that there was a time that they wasn't in control, but like, I don't know, it's just the vibe I get, you know? Like, because, you know, hearing them through the years doing interviews and stuff, and how they felt when, you know, sort of crazy thing that they achieved and stuff and playing big venues and stuff I get what they were saying and how they were coming out because sometimes that can be good and sometimes it, it can be fucking exhausting and, and, and bad basically and I feel with like this too they don't fucking need 
to do it because let's be honest if they decided to play at the smallest venue ever and just play there forever not move just stay in a place and just play there i would fucking travel to see them so yeah <laughs> and oh my god fucking dan i can't with this man how many There's so much size to this dude. Like some of the things he's produced the last couple of years, I'm like, damn. Damn, man. What? His voice, Jesus. Seriously, I could listen to his fucking voice forever. I'm sorry I'm cursing so much. But I can't help it. I want to see the band. I want to listen to the whole record. I want to see the I'm going to be honest. Since they were on the, the Joe Rogan podcast, I was ready. I was ready for them to make a comeback. Yes, I was ready. Like, they're so good together. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love some, you know, like, the arts and, you know, the different projects, the different, that they both did throughout the years that were completely different to this, but, man, nothing like the keys when they're together. Yes, easy eye sound. God damn it. <laughs> Makes me so proud. That's another thing. I believe that when... Like, the fact that it's an easy eye production, that has to change everything. Because, you know, there's no more, like, middleman or... It's just all you. So I can see how that influenced the the song in what I think the album is gonna be which makes me so excited oh my god I'm fangirling so much sorry about that <laughs> but honestly I just love how we went back to the roots seriously just back to the beginning this is a sort of I was laughing because I'm in, you know, uh, one of those, like, fan forums and stuff. And one one dude or a user, I don't know, I think it was a guy, but I could be wrong, was saying how this was, like, Chulahoma 2.0. And I was like, exactly my guy. It's just great. It's like the same but different. You know, like, the sort of same shade of a color or different variation. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. But bottom line, I'm super happy. And I'm surprised that the song didn't blow up. Because it's so good. It's very... How can I put this? Let me think about the right way to say this. It's very, you know, it's a bar song. Like, if you're in a bar, you want to have a beer, maybe go talk to someone. Well, we're in the fucking middle of COVID, so probably it's not, it's not a good idea to go talk to someone you don't know. But, you know, like, a, you know what I mean. Or like a road song. Just go out on the road and just drive and listen to this fucking song over and over. I can definitely see that happening. But for now, this is all we have. But I can feel it. I feel it in my bones that the freaking album is going to be incredible. And yeah, I honestly cannot wait. And 
I don't know. With the Black Keys, I've I became a fan of them when I was like in high school. So it's been more than 10, 12 years that I've been a fan. So I always, whenever I listen to them, it just brings me back to that time. But at the same time, kind of grew with them. And I remember, especially, you know, in my country, they weren't really big or anything when I discovered them. It was just like, I remember talking to people and saying, hey, have you listened to this band? And no one, absolutely no one would say, yeah, oh, I know them. It was crazy. And to see, you know, how throughout the years I would, I would find people who, because I owned a t-shirt that said, um, you know, the black keys and, and everything. It was just a, a t-shirt. A regular t-shirt that they used to sell. I don't know if they keep selling it, but it was um, gray with black um, lettering. And I remember one time I was just, you know, walking and a dude stabbed me in the middle of the street and was like, oh my god, that's a great t-shirt. And I was like, oh, do you know who they are? And he was like, yes, I'm a huge fan. And it was, you know, one of those cute moments with a stranger. It was great. Oh my god. My dog is having a nightmare. <laughs> She's cute. I guess she wanted to be in the video. But anyway, I seriously hope um, that you like the song. And oh my god, if this is the first Black Keys song you've ever found or discovered or whatever, my goodness, please go watch Go watch their videos, they're so good. Go watch their videos, go listen to the albums, and... How would I start? Well, actually, start with whatever album you want. It's just, they're all good. They're all excellent. But, you know, with my experience, or at least how I experienced them, um, I would start you know, from the earlier stuff to then the latest. Um, I believe when I started listening to them, they had already put out like th th three records, three, four records. I don't remember. But yeah, I mean, there, there was a catalog and then, you know, getting to experience a new album for the first time, it was cool, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, have a great day. Bye!